Dance is in session. Well, Whispering Woods definitely keep. And then we keep that too because, well, that's a combo. If I coin this out, do I do it against Shaman, which has Maelstrom Portal and stuff? Um, Nat Fagel? <laughs> uh, we're, rank, we're rank 15. We can't get away with anything, guys. Yeah, he could get healed on him, but whatever. I just gotta hope this works. Oh, that was almost zero. Yeah, you can't play this if you get seven, though. So I was thinking, oh, maybe if I waited one more turn. That's unfortunate, because that would have been um, good here in a minute, but... Yeah, that was a little bit unlucky. Not sure what that accomplished. <laughs> I mean, now he could devolve me again, so I guess we killed these, right? Oh, this is zero all of a sudden. This card's really silly, by the way. I'm board locked, huh? Because even if I kill it, I have to kill one of these. I guess I kill these two and then do that. Or maybe we just play Sea Giants right now, right? Like, why why do this when maybe better later? Haste makes waste. Haste makes waste. This guy appears to be a Reno deck, right? We're kind of seeing... I mean, Dirty Rat and Nat Pagel really, really lead me to believe he's a uh, Reno. Lothep could be in an aggro deck. Devolve could be a double in any sort of number of decks, but... Picking Dirty Rat and Nat Pagel kind of means he's got 30 unique cards, right? Earthquake, Earthquake kind of wrecks me, right? These survive Earthquake, right? Earthquake does five and then two. I don't think we need that against uh, Hunter. I mean, back in the day, there was a giant Hunter deck, right? But the uh, since the nerf to that card, the Naga, the deck kind of doesn't exist anymore. I am kind of curious if they unnerfed Naga, would it just see more play? I guess it would, right? Just because playing a bunch of 8 8s on turn 4 or 5 still seems like a good strategy, even in Wild. All right, so if we if we want to coin out a uh, Whispering Woods for max value, we need seven cards. I guess I shouldn't have played anything. I mean, what we could do is just play this first, and then and then don't not coin it out, just play it for four. Alternatively, we can just save this until we do it in one go. This gets answered really cleanly by Unleash the Hounds, not by Explosive Trap because we uh, we do that first. Kind of risky, because he just has Unleashed and I, I have to start over. Well, that was a good draw.
If we play us another secret, we have a choice, right? Do we just soul the forest, go face again, or do we just play this and pass? Because we can't attack. They they can't attack once they're transformed. I imagine we just make a bunch of five fives because it's Hunter, right? He doesn't have a way to mass hysteria a bunch of five fives. Like he's just kind of fucked. Question is, how many how many of these do we need before we do this? I think the answer is just like three. I don't think we bother trading. We just get as many five fives as possible. We somehow die. I mean, unleash the unleash the hounds does six. He's a Reno deck, so he can heal to full. I believe he's Reno. We'll see. You'll find me yep. the action is. You have legendary skill, my friend. You see why his deck's so strong? I'm already at twelve. Well I can see we wouldn't be playing strong. this deck at all. Cut Wisp of the Old Gods, but what's better than Wisp of the Old Gods? Because it's a, it's a, it's my finisher card, right? I need a, I need a savage or type card. I think it's the best one. Because it's it has it it could dual purpose uh, summon a bunch of wisps. I think. Although, would I ever do that? Um, maybe I would never do that. Yeah, this one could be cut for sure. Savage or is better. I mean, sometimes the two health does matter. Like, actually, do I keep this somehow? That into that. Hmm. No, let's. I think that, that's just a later card. I don't think you ever play down five that often. Now, if I knew I was getting Soul of the Forest, Savage War can be good early, but I don't really have a, a strong early start. Like, I'm not. I'm not doing the um. The two one two things and stuff. I'm really just uh, starting on turn four with the garden home. Hey, I got you, friend. Well, that's pretty scary. Thank God War Leader doesn't give health anymore. The worst here is Cold Light Seer, obviously. Ironically, the one I got. If he goes face, he gives me Sea Giant, which is great. Plus, I get a couple nifty uh, value trades. Nope. Okay, Hero Power versus a 2-3. Hero Power kills Guy. Um... And it protects the 2 1 technically. Alright, I guess that's what we're doing. Weak against Maelstrom Portal, but. Maybe I cut Wisp of the Old Gods. Well, do I do I need a Savage War? Maybe we we don't want a Savage War anyway. Because uh, we could because technically Tree Speaker is quote our is our Savage War card. It's just slow, right? It doesn't work. Oh, look at that. We got we got combos. So we could even like wait until way later to do. I have this plus this too. So maybe I just do this and then try to set this up later. So many contradictions. <laughs> Murloc Knight, wow. This became like a huge threat because it's five health, right? And fish Flinger goes wrong. <laughs> when Fish Flinger goes wrong, right? See was he might have the hungry crab though. Nope. I don't think so. Could I could cut both Wisping Woods and Gold Guts, add some combo, Savage Roar. Um Z Lag's interesting. I would I would probably play another Explodinator, right? Oh, that sucks. So he had an answer to that the whole time. Oh, but he what is he doing? Oh no, he didn't give Oh no. 
He didn't give the poison rush, so he's like letting me. He's like letting me go off here. Oh, Mulch Muncher Zeliax. You know what? That's pretty good. You're right. That's pretty insane, too. That's, that's my light gain. I was, we're definitely going to put that in. Yeah, Wisp of the Old Gods. Maybe we just won't, won't run a Savage Roar type card. I don't like winning games with Savage Roar anyway, because it's like it's more fun to kind of... Quote, play fair. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Can we Ixalid here? I think so, right? Ixalid becomes... See, oh, you know what? The, I think the, one of the reasons I have Wisp of the Old Gods is that it um, it activates Garden Gnome too, which is important. All right, so I did change the deck up a little bit since yesterday. Um, added a few more early plays. Added one Tree Enforcements, one Dentrologist, and one Bees. I ended up cutting the Sea Giants. Someone suggested yesterday to put in Zeliax, and that seemed like a good idea for the Mulch Munchers. Gain a ton of life all at once. This is our five mana spell for this, so I guess we keep everything. The so Sea Giants out, Zeliax in, Ixalid out because if Sea Giant, well, if Ixalid goes out, Sea Giants get worse because we have that missing combo now. And uh, I added the uh, Forest Aid, a second copy instead of. Wisp of the Old Gods to replace the spell. I was thinking about turning this deck into a Reno deck. It does work. I built the deck uh, a minute ago. But mm, I figured it's not as cool to just build a full-on tree deck, right? Double double tree speaker. Double poison seed. Double soul of the forest. We got Bran into Garden Gnome if we want. Bran most likely not going to live against... Uh, Rogue. Do we go for it? I mean, there's no beast target, so I guess we're going for it. If I play this, do I save this for, like, turn six? I don't think so, right? Unless... Because I don't, I don't have... I don't have things to do in the meantime. Are we playing Pogo Hopper here? We appear to be playing Pogo Hopper. Does this somehow get Cold Light Oracle? Maybe. Nice. Does he have another fan of Oh god. Deathwing Dragon Lord. Oh, that's nifty. Alright, fair enough. So. I mean, is he dead? Hold on. This is where I wish we had, like, Savage Roar type cards, right? Okay, so we got 6, 9, 10. 6, yeah, we're one off lethal. We are one off. This be our neck of the world. I'll trim you! Utterly impossible. <laughs> This could be bad. If he, if he kills this, if he kills this, we might have a million taunts coming down. Oh, I can bees my own bomb. Oh, you know what? Once we have room on the board, I might have missed lethal actually. All right, we could play um the two drop right. Power of the wild. Is that like? That can double up as early game up early game play. It seems really good. I wonder if it's a keep always a keep. Because if even though I just have like two trees and one mana. <laughs> Cost two less. This is the one that looks it's um 
it's better than it looks because you think of it oh it's just cost one less reach treant but no it costs two less reach treant yeah we're definitely killing that we're not gonna let him uh go off with the first patches play Next turn we have two two twos versus two one ones and a two two. This makes this one mana. Oh, we didn't even play. This makes this one mana. So this is kind of like a four mana play, actually, right? Maybe I should just go wide though. I make three one ones and uh, eh, whatever. Let's just draw. Yeah, that card's pretty scary. That card might farm me, actually. The advantage of these, though, I think I might... Do I use my hero power on this? Because we can make that value hit. I might be wrong. I think my plan is that we're assuming we're losing some guys, and then we can play this to kill this thing. You went after a 1-1. One, one. That's interesting. What does that mean? We can make that trade there. Play this to kill that. And then get face with that. Alternatively, we can... Kind of the play. This thing is just getting too much value. He doesn't have a weapon yet. So this thing is actually, we could, eh, whatever. It looks like he drew patches, by the way, unfortunately for him. We just race him. We already saw. We already saw. Mortal. No, we didn't see Mortal Strike. Um. Fuck it. I don't know. We'll see. I might be wrong. He has a silence. I take at least six. Die from 19? Let's see, what's the most he could do? I don't think he can do... It's like some sort of Leroy play. Leroy, uh... Rogue Strike is 10. Oh, Mortal Strike? Mortal Strike is t is 12, actually. You have legendary skill, my friend. All right, so we have a soul forest. Do we keep it? Maybe not. Maybe we try to do what we've been doing the last few games and just kind of get better curving. One one thing I'm liking is what we did last game. The the sort of random poison seed into zero mana draw too. He is overloaded here, so technically we can take this down if we want to with a hero power. Um, not sure if we should. There's definitely a reason to, because like heal totem randomly keeps it getting bigger and bigger. The Earth Shock to 1 1. Okay. I don't mind that considering I have um, Big Taunt in my deck. Yeah, if you're going to do that, you should trade, right? <laughs> if you're going to do that, you should trade. We have the. Whispering Woods for four, four one ones. Um, I'm kind of forced to do it. Just hope there's no uh, 
Maelstrom Portal. If he gets Maelstrom Portal with, with Totem, we obviously like our concede territory because I have nothing. But if we're able to hit... Oh, also the random sand elemental too, right? Can kill, kill these. That'd be bad. Okay, we do need to kill these off because of um, Devolve. I think we play around Devolve. So I can kill just two guys. Alright, we have a couple plays here. We can go face and turn them all into 5-5s. Five we would have a 4-4, four, 4-5-5s four, four, five, five versus a 3-2 and a 7-7. Seven, seven. Or we can trade and make, make this for 4 and just hero power. Oh, another play is go face, poison seed, and then this becomes 1 mana. And I can kill... And I can do that after? Wait, no, that's too much mana. But I can do that next turn. How curious. I mean, I might as well trade... This is, well, is there a reason? The time run low. That wasn't that great, but I do have two realistic plays next turn. Because this buffs these to three, and this one will bust them to five. If we need to kill stuff on the board, this might be better. How much damage is this? This is 9 plus 8. Almost lethal. I mean, I can't kill him, so I think this might just be a better play. We kind of lost that game immediately when he played Dirty Rat. Because I, I coined out my Shrubadier in order to play the second one, and then it comes down as a 1-1, and then I have no play. We don't have a spell yet for this, but... Really good if it works, right? Yeah, at some point we'll play that, and it, it enables the, uh... Aeroponics, too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The thing is, I only have 5, I only have five spells that unlock it. Alright, we're gonna have to bees that again. We bees that last time, and the guy thanked me, and we ended up winning, so... It was technically a nice play. It's strange that he would play... See, I think that's a mistake. He played Novice Engineer instead of tapping. That just seems wrong. Because at some point you're... At some point you're going to be able to do them both, right? Like, what? And if you tap, this gets more value, right? Currently it's only healing you two. If you tap. Alright, so this can help me find the spell for that. That's cool. Target dummy, huh? Okay, well. That's a, a very aggressive, almost like he knew my hand. Well, we can do this. But that was, uh, that was very aggressive to say the least. Yeah, that's the only one that activates this, so we take it. It's also, it kind of fits with the theme of the deck. I mean, yeah, worst case scenario, we can go Dark Whisper into um, Soul of the Forest, but that would get countered by Defile. He might burn a defile here, though. We'll see. If he doesn't burn a defile, do I play this? That's an interesting question. We kind of are forced to, huh? Alright, so we can... We can play that to set this up. But the problem is... I could, I could just play this next turn, too. Um, if we need to rebuild the board, we can just play five wisps, I guess. Not that uh, we're doing anything with them currently. Ooh, that was not good for him because... The Soul Force... Looks good, but I think this is better because 
this plays around uh, the file, I think. Although it doesn't, because there's gonna be a one and a two and a four. It's still my best player. I speak for the tree. Cause like Soul of Force does not work against the file at all. Unity, precision, perfection. Okay. So we just need three damage. I do have three damage. I think Soul of Horus we keep. I don't know. I got the Whispering Wood, so. Worst case scenario, we can coin this out and we'll play that on it. It's good against Mass Hysteria, not good against um, other other clears, right? Like. Psychic Scream and the uh, expensive ones, basically. Mass Dispel. I drew them both anyway, interesting. Another play is to just coin oh that was a good draw. I could coin out the um gnome and then draw before playing that. Right, we could look at that. Juan Carlos, thanks for following, appreciate that. Oh, this looks like a fun deck. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get turned into um yeah, if I coin this out, this is zero. So that seems good. Or no, it's it's not. It's oh god. <laughs> I just realized it's uh not five mana now. Yeah. I could trade this first and then do it. Yeah, I guess that's the play now. I can't play this, but it'll be one mana. All right, next turn we could um, play this plus this. Hopefully he doesn't have Duskbreaker. Death, does not scare me. Death Lord, that's cheating. That's not the worst Soul of the Forest, right? I drew another one? All right, easy. Honestly, none of those I worry about at all. Like, these are probably the best ones he could take. Although, this one's kind of annoying, actually. The Whispering Woods. Definitely should kill a tree and after seeing my hand, right? I only have two treants, so we probably just kill this. We could kill this first, play one, and then buff the one. Or I could buff the two to get something on the board right now. I think we want the death rattle minion. I think we want the death rattle minion. To you. Oh. I mean, it's more risky, but at the same time, it plays around AOE better. There's some chance we transform. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna trade everything, right? Oh, whoops. Emotion Watcher. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know Death Lord. I like totally somebody just totally forget that the Death Lord is like an actual thing, right? Well Alright, well. Guess we just do this. It's not terrible. I think I'm gonna save that, because it makes this better. It makes this better, so we'll just save the one one. Possible the one one blocks mass hysteria, but if this hits this, then we have uh didn't work, right? So he just gets this doesn't do anything really good, right? He just gets like death. I think he just gets death here. Two mana. Oh betrayal. Oh god. I can just use my face on that to get rid of that. If we're scared of it. Let's see what we get. It's tree time. 
time. I am kind of scared of it, actually. I don't want him to pick that up. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that works, but that's not the four drop. These cards look so much alike. Oh, my God. I, used, I should use this one. Yeah. That was not good. All right. Well, he's got, he's kind of running out of stuff, so we can go landscaping dendrologist. Yeah, that was really bad. I mean, he might have had a um, like a psychic scream anyway. So, but <laughs> now I have to figure out how to get this to work, right? That's annoying. Damn, I drew a brand right after he got that. That's that sucks. Because I don't want him to resurrect that one, so I guess we kill the rat, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> now we can kill it. Uh, anyway. Oh well. Makes more. He makes my guys bigger if he kills them. It's kind of funny. Let me go. Bran tending Tarn to make them bigger. Well played. Problem of doing that is psychic scream. So I think we just kind of sit on this, maybe. So many contra. Addictions. I'm almost out of cards. The problem with this is that we lose the death rattles in these. I think I'm gonna need to have this as a as a as a empty board play. Okay, so we can get polymorph, but he can't if he gets the ten mana polymorph, he can't do it till next turn. Now I can do this for tons of damage. Tons of damage? Some damage. We can rebuild with this. That's pretty good. So, yeah. I mean, he is a Reno deck at the end of the day. Like, doing the face damage might not matter. So many contradictions. Maybe I just trade, go face, and then play this and this. And then save that again for. I don't like that, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's risky, but it's definitely lethal. 10, 20, 30, 30 damage. I mean, he kills something for sure, but that's a good sign, right? It means no mass clear. The face, the face hit is what we don't want to see. This will win the game though, right? Ooh, I have no boardroom. I need him to kill. Oh no, I need him to kill another thing. So we got 10, 20, 26, plus, hold on, 10, 20, 26, plus 6 is lethal. I also had the hero power. No, your victory proves wow, you made it to the end of an extended gameplay video. If you really do like the deck, make sure to check the link below to join in on any of the Hearthpone discussion. I will see you guys next time.